3,412 days ago, June 6th, 2012. That was the beginning of our journey, and here we are today, standing in front of our loved ones, family, friends. Kristen, I don't know where to begin. You're the reason I roll out of bed every morning. You're the reason I am who I am today. I just want to say that you have changed my life. You have made me a driven person, and I'll always love you for that. You set my world on fire. You're my heart's desire. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. David, you are my soulmate, my best friend. And I've been waiting for this moment for what seems like my whole life. It's been almost a decade now. I can still remember our first kiss back on our eighth grade graduation cruise. Or when we'd sneak out to me on my backyard trampoline at 14 years old. <laughs> now look at us. Look how far we've come. We've grown and accomplished so much. Our perfect little home, dream jobs, six chickens, onyx, and 10 years of memories I'll never forget. I love you for so many reasons and qualities you encompass. I love you because I have never seen a man so intelligent with such work ethic and determination. Besides dad. Even though a few F-bombs will be dropped, you will always get the job done. I love that when my check engine light comes on, I now have not one, but two men to run to. I love you for your sense of humor and your ability to always be stupidly silly with me. I love our adventures, snowmobiling, camping, fishing, and I promise to always cherish these times with you. I just need you, I don't know what it is you do I just want you, I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Just tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day See the moon and 
I have the absolute honor of being Kristen's maid of honor. I first met Kristen um, her sophomore and my junior year of high school, where we, grew, where we were graded on how well we took care of a plastic crying baby doll. And let's just say, be thankful you weren't there to watch us. During that time, I came to quickly realize that this small, quiet, and I mean very quiet girl, would become my very best friend. I met David not too long after I met Kristen, and if you can believe it, he was actually even quieter than Kristen was. Um, but I instantly knew that they were perfect for each other. On behalf of the bridesmaids, the groomsmen, we thank you all for coming tonight. And I want to say thank you to Julie and Dave, David's parents, and Joy and Scott for not practicing, I mean, for making this day possible. I'm not great at speeches, and I'm really nervous to be up here. So thank you to whoever's grandparent that was that gave me a Xanax about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Marriage is like a video game. <laughs> it starts easy. It gets harder. But no matter what, you always end up on the internet looking for a way to cheat. <laughs> Usually the bride takes the groom's last name. But for the last five years, David's been wearing Mackenzie on his chest for a paycheck. Never thought I'd see the day that my uh, baby sister would meet the perfect mister. Yet here we are. To the bride and groom, Kristen, David, I wish you both a lifetime of health, wealth, and most importantly, happiness from your brother. I just wanted to tell you that we are proud of you, and that means the entire family, and I'm proud of who you become. I'm proud of who you've grown into. And um, another thing that nobody, nobody tell, told me is that marriage is not perfect. It's what you make it that makes it perfect. And um, we love you. If you ever need anything, reach out to us. And... I wish you so much happiness and David. Getting closer, body.